Hello, welcome back to June's Craft Room. Today I've got another very simple idea for you, and it's these. So the thing that it's in is called a coin pocket, and what I've done is cut out a small butterfly. It's the same on the back. I've put a little grommet in and a little what they call a ball chain. And these then can dangle off them, the back of a journal, off a page. So it's really simple. We're only going to need a few things. I'll put that up there. So this is the coin pockets. This is the outside. And this is the inside. Now you might not be able to see it, but this is a full sheet going across of the clear. And on this side, you can might just be able to pick up a little crease going up and that's where we fold it in half so what happens is when you fold it in half you've got this so all we have to do is to put the um, butterfly in and glue it down I've already gone ahead and cut out these little butterflies and I used, um, I reversed it or flipped it horizontally so that you have, you can put it back to back. So any program that you've got, even Paint 3D and things like that, anything that's on your computer, you should be able to flip your image, resize your image and get something like a butterfly or a flower or it's Christmas time you could put something in like a little candy cane um, so that's the first thing we're going to do so all we have to do is we have to adhere the, um, the front and the back together might have helped if I'd had that open I'm just going to glue, just a bit of glue, and whilst it's liquid, I'm just going to slide this on and match it up as good as possible. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect, okay? You just keep trying until you get it as close as you can. Alright, and anything that's left over at the end we can just put on um, some ink. Now what I've chosen for this one to match it is called Seedless Preserves. This is an oxide, but I don't think I have it in a, an ordinary ink, but it doesn't matter. Um, but if you don't have Tim Holtz, then you can use things like felt pen, run it along the edge. Um, you can even use uh, a felt pen where you just scribble on a bit of plastic and then put a bit of water with it and use your brush to brush around the edges. There's a lot of very simple ideas. You don't need to have expensive things. You just don't. Okay. I'll just move that slightly. Okay. And if you want to, if you think there's just a little bit too much overhanging and by all means just trim around it but I'm pretty happy with that okay so we're gonna ink our pad up and we're just gonna brush just dab it on Only tying this, so I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it. Okay, on this side, we might just trim it down a little bit here. Okay. 
now what we're going to do is to pop it into our um, coin pocket now I got these off uh, eBay so they're in Australia I just paid postage and they weren't expensive and you got like a hundred or you got fifty something like that it was, it was a, quite a few but if you look for coin pockets and it's what they use to put in a coin obviously and then they close it up and it save it <clears throat> keeps it secure in the pocket so to be able to just keep that in position I'm going to put that out in the back you just use the tiniest little bit of glue just the tiniest little bit position it how you want to look at it so this one it's not going to fit quite in the wings have gone over just a little bit and then put some glue pop some glue around one side of the pocket now you want to take it as far out of the edge because you're quite close to the um, circle here so you want to be as far out as you can be you don't want it squishing up into the thing and just blow off to make sure there's nothing there that can get caught in the pocket so then you bring it over okay line it up seal it down make sure it's glued down okay now what you can do if you want to is pop it under uh, something that's heavy heavier um, just to um, hold it down until you think it's firm but I'm just using quick dry glue oh, that one's a little bit off as you can see I'm going to trim it alright so I'm going to continue on with the seedless preserves again just brushing it uh, on the head on the edge and if you want just going in on the corners just give it a little bit more color okay next I'm going to use my crocodile I'm going to punch a hole try and sort of land in that space that's available in the corner I've got a little silver eyelet that I'm going to pop in there okay and again with my crocodile I'm just going to position it there squeeze and it's all done then I'll get my bulletin these I got from Aliexpress bit hard to see there these I got from Aliexpress um, and they were very inexpensive and I actually got you can see there a bag full of them things like this I don't need mine buying off Aliexpress You just pop it through the hole. And you don't have to use these. If you don't have these um, string, wool, ribbon, sari silk, everything's there at your disposal. Whatever you have available, use it. Right, you pop it into the big hole. You bring it down, pull down, and that is secured in there. And there we have it. So that's one. There's two. You could do different things. You can colour the whole section if you want the whole thing. It doesn't have to be left white. And like I said, you could put other things in. Um, pictures, roses of dice, little roses, uh, Christmas things, especially at this time of year, little presents or a candy cane, um, snowflakes, snowflake adult ice, 
could we even put a die cut of a snowflake in there so there's plenty of ideas to be able to use this up so I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial um, and I'll see you next time bye